members of the council are present. Uh, I'd like to welcome Mr. Wilson back to the council. Others include Mr. Johnson, City Clerk Treasurer, and Laura Dogan, our City Manager. Before I get to the agenda, I have a statement regarding COVID-19 that I would like to read. As we all know, on Friday, March 13th, Governor Scott declared a state of emergency until April 15th. Some of the public impacts include no gatherings. I have written of 50 people or 50 percent, but within the last two hours, the president said gatherings of 10 people or more. He, he put that out in the last two, uh, last two hours, um, whichever is less. Uh, visitor access to facilities serving the elderly and ill, including hospitals and other healthcare facilities, is restricted. For complete details, I do urge everyone to visit the Department of Health website or the Centers for De Disease Control. Currently, there has been no major impact on the daily operations of the city of Newport. However, that could change on the guidance we received from the state. Our dedicated employees are coming into work every day and ready to do their job. The city is currently following all guidelines set forth by the state of Vermont and the CDC. The city manager and department heads are receiving continuous updates regarding COVID-19 and they have reviewed our emergency operations plan and the city is prepared to be upon by the state of Vermont. At this time, we do ask the public if you are able to conduct your, bu conduct your business electronically or via telephone, please do, sh do so. Uh, I assure you that the city is taking COVID-19 seriously and we continue to ensure that our facilities are kept clean and disinfected. We now, as you can see, have remote access um, for people who would like to participate in our city council meetings, and I believe we have two people connected right now. Um, and this will allow anyone to take part via telephone. This complies with the open meeting law, and I urge anyone who has questions regarding that to please visit the Secretary of State's um, website. In the future, if by chance we have to conduct our meetings uh, remotely, um, there are complete procedures under the state statute and under the open meeting law that we will comply with. And so I don't have them all in front of me, but I've been reviewing them. Um, once again, I'd like to urge everyone to follow the uh, steps that's been set forward. Frequently washing your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. If not available, use alcohol sanitizer, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, with unwashed hands, avoid close contact with people who are sick, staying home when you are sick, covering your cough or sneeze with a tissue, if not available, coughing into your elbow, cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched objects and surfaces, social distancing, which means keeping six feet between you and others. That's kind of why I set the room up the way we did this evening. Um, and so I just wanted to uh, pass that along. And finally, I would like to urge everyone to stay calm, work together, and keep an eye on our most vulnerable population as we get through this health crisis. Thank you. And with that, I'll move to item two on the agenda, which is to approve the minutes of March 2nd, 2020. Now, entertain a motion. Motion made by Ms. Pedersen. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Ross. Discussion? Yes. I want to have discussion from the council first. Any discussion from council members? <coughs> okay. Go ahead. Please state your name for the record. Sure. I'm Ann Shirello, and I'm a resident of Newport. Um, and I would like the minutes to be changed to take out the word complaint. When citizens come up and talk about things, for instance, I talked about the water budget last time, two and a half million dollars, and I asked some questions, and I gave you some information, which is that you sit as a water uh, chief, so to speak, and I asked you to review it. That is not a complaint. There were questions, there were information, there was information given, and I expected some information back, which I have not had yet. But I would not use the word that I complain. Just ask questions, ask for information, and gave you information. Please amend the minutes to reflect that. 
Thank you. Council, do you wish to amend the minutes? Commented, okay. Is there a second? Okay. Discussion? Discussion on that? Then all those in favor of the amendment, please say aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. on that. Mr. Wilson's recusing. Approximately. 
and it is probably the oldest running market in the state of Vermont, which I think the city should be very proud of. We like where we are situated. We like the two days that we are on. And um, uh, my main concern about this upcoming season and in the future is that we might have to pay an over $6,000 bill to be at that site this year. And this really concerns the vendors in the market because we don't know how we can come up with $6,000. <laughs> I was also asked to attend this meeting by someone, which is why I'm here. And if um, anyone has questions about the market, I can address them. Uh, thank you. Derek, what we'll do is um, we've, we've heard your concern and it will have it will be researched and we'll have it in, um, at the next council meeting. We'll have a discussion on it. That's how it's public comment. We don't usually go back and forth and ask questions or answer questions. Or we want to do some research as far as your, your concern. And so it will be at the next city, uh, give us time at the next city council meeting we will have. Have, have, if you want to attend that meeting, we'll probably have a discussion. Oh, I'll depend on the vibe. Oh, yes, yes, because our next meeting, who knows, it might be done remotely, and we might postpone the meeting. We haven't decided, because everything's changing so quickly. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. The next one was Tom Evans, and I see what you put down. We're going to hold off, okay? And we have Ann Shirello, and I'm not quite sure what your topic is. No, I just reserve it. Uh, my time for somebody else, and they need it. Billy Noah needed it, so I I need it, Ann. No, that's, I, I, you really need to sign up for oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> the people who want to speak, the way it is done is you sign up. You don't reserve spots for other people. This is the procedure, and I don't see anything wrong with having people sign up and put the topic they wish to discuss. Um, and so, we don't reserve for other people. Thank you. Moving on, the next item is the election of the City Council President at this time. I would entertain a motion. I'd like to nominate Dan Ross. Is there a second? Seconded. Any other nominations or discussion? Then all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it, motion carries. Okay, moving on. City government appointments. Double check something here. The first appointment is for city manager. <coughs> And we need a motion. I'm requesting a motion to go in executive session for an initial discussion regarding the city manager's reappointment. Motion is made. Is there a second? Seconded. Discussion? Then all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carried. I would like to make a motion to reappoint city manager. 
manager, Laura Golden. Is there a second to the motion? Motion made by Mr. Ross, seconded by Ms. Pettison. Discussion from the members of the council. Any discussion from members of the audience? If you're going to come up, please state your name and you have one minute. Mr. Russell, you did not. Mr. 
charter one, you did not receive it? No, this is the question and answer. Mr. Roth? No, the time is up. I said we received an email. I received it, but I didn't have to fight that whole fight by five words. So, Can I ask the city no, council? The time, the time is up. Please. You agree? But I didn't receive you. I didn't know you were sir. My name is Jack Wilbert. I was actually on the city council when Laura Dolby was hired, and I think that was probably one of the best decisions that I made when I voted to, to give her the job. Uh, for you, the public, don't realize it, this lady is not costing the city a dime. The money she brought in in grants when she's been in office is actually making money for the city. Uh, we haven't had that in many years with our previous city manager. We have it now. So I would urge you to. You know, do what's best for the city of Newport and please reappoint her. Uh, I will remind Mr. Wilson in public that he was the one that made the nomination for, our, for us to hire in the first place. So I hope he would stay, stick to his words and get with that when we did hire him. Thank you. Ms. Brown, Prospect Street. Um, I would say you should not reappoint her because. Look, you've got two sides of the room here. There's just division. There's division. I mean, you can't run a town when everybody is so divided and so upset. And the only way to stop the division is to get rid of the problem, which is sitting right over there. And if you don't do that, the division will continue and the acrimony will continue. And that's not good for Newport. It's not good for the city if it wants to go forward in a positive direction. You've got to get people to come back together again, and it's never going to happen with all of you. I can tell you that. Lori Graham, Newport City resident, and I'm just going to do what Ruth said. I think we have too much of a division here, and it's not about not getting our way the first time. It's about wanting to work together. And unfortunately, I believe, it is my opinion, that as long as there is this much division as there is in this room tonight, and some things that aren't being said, that I believe that Laura Dolgan is the problem there, and that we really need to consider, we need to find a city manager who can bring our entire city together instead of this separation. Thank you. Anyone else? And I'm gonna call the question. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. We have three ayes and one no. Would the council care to uh, explain their vote? thing to do is look at the past and not look towards the future. And I know there's a group of people that feel that nothing is going to change. I personally believe there's going to be change. There's going to be change for the better. And we're going to come together as a group and a community and we're going to move forward in a positive way. Yes, I voted no for one main reason. Dealing the last two years of public comments and interaction with the public and past dealings. I voted yes for Ms. Sullivan. Uh, she is very good at what she does in terms of the grants and producing the budget. No, but these are the things that going forward we will work on and come together as a council and the rest. Well, I, I did not vote because there wasn't a tie, but if I had to have voted, 
I would have voted to reappoint the city manager because the other things that have been said have already been said as far as the budgeting and the job she is doing. Excuse me. Um, I can tell you she is well respected by other city managers in the state. That's my interaction. She's well respected by people in my prayer and having people in my prayer um, that we have to work with, they are vital to work with to get things moving forward in Newport. Um, she's well respected by the Agency of Community Development, Commerce and Community Development. She's well respected by BGS. She's well respected even in the governor's office. So we have to remember we have to work for the state and I took a lot of their comments about the city manager and the job that she is doing and I took that in a lot of and, um, and I, that would have weighed into my decision to reappoint her. I cast my vote for the investment city manager based on the fact that our city is running well. We our infrastructure is in good shape. Our department heads are achieving and working very well. There's a very strong team here in the city that is moving ahead together. Um, and Laura is the head of that team. We got very good uh, reports from our department heads and the support of Laura and the work she's doing how the city is moving ahead. There's been, you know, I don't necessarily take innuendo, rumor, um, falsehoods into consideration when looking at, you know, looking at whether or not to reappoint. And the facts for me are that she's running a good city here. Is every individual happy about it? No. Um, that's obvious, and that is also taken into consideration. However, the positives of things that the city is doing and moving ahead with Laura outweighs the week or the bi weekly complaints from a, basically what I see is a small group of people who are did very, very discontented. So we have to take that into consideration and balance it out. And when I do that, I come to the conclusion that the good that the city is doing under her leadership is the, the scale way in that direction. Thank you. Moving on. The next appointment will be the reappointment of uh, the, the uh, Director of Public Works, and that is currently held by Tom Bernier. And I'm going to entertain a motion. Motion to Motion to be made by Mr. Ross is there a second. Second by Mr. Wilson. Discussion? Then hearing none, those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next. The next one is the uh, appointment of the Chief of Police. A motion was made to table the reappointment of the police chief to the April 6 uh, city council meeting. It was made by Mr. Ross. Is there a second? Seconded by Ms. Patterson. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is the chief of the fire department. Um, we would need a motion to, to appoint. I will reappoint uh, John Harlemark, uh, Fire Chief. Is there a motion? Mr. Mayor, I make that motion that we reappoint John Harlemark as the Chief of the Fire Department. Motion made. Is there a second? Made by Mr. Wilson, seconded by Mr. Ross. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Uh -huh. Ayes have it. Motion carries. The next one is the Director of Recreation, Parks and Recreation, and that's held by Jessica Booth. That would entertain a motion. Motion made by Melissa Patterson. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Wilson. Discussion? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is zoning administrator, currently held by Charles Elliott. That would entertain a motion. A motion made. Is there a second? Made by Mr. Ross, seconded by Mr. Shabo. Discussion? Anyone else in favor say aye. Aye. 
opposed? Ayes have it, motion carries. The next is the tax assessor, which held by Rob Narrowhorn. Uh, entertain a motion. Motion made, is there a second? Seconded by Mr. David and Ms. Patterson, seconded by Mr. Wilson. Discussion? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it, motion carries. Next is the city attorney. It's currently Stitcher, Page, and Fletcher. And at this time, I'd entertain a motion. Fletcher. Fletcher, sorry. Motion made, is there a second? Seconded. Discussion? And all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is the Cemetery Commission. It's currently held by Frank Ronsby, John Ward Sr., and Dennis Chinette. We would need a motion. Motion made. Is there a second? I'll second. Made by Mr. Wilson, second by Mr. Charbon. Discussion? Hearing all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is the Recreation Committee. And I'm not sure if the list I. I think I left that. Let me see. I think I left that one page at home. Sorry about that. Okay. It would be. Um, Recreation Committee members would be Chad Prue, Jen Smith, Sherry Lee Ryan, and Lori Wiles. And it'd be a real it'd be two reappointments and one appointment for a two-year term ending in 2022. I would need a motion. Mr. Mayor, I'll make that motion. Motion made. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Wilson, seconded by Mr. Ross. Discussion? Hearing now, those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is the city landscaper. It's currently held by Robert Grossman. I would entertain a motion. A motion made. Is there a second? Made by Melissa Pettison, seconded by Mr. Charbonneau. Discussion? Hearing now, those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next would be Planning Commission and Historic Preservation, and there's, we would need to reappoint, it would be Daniel Pickering, and it would be for a three-year term. And we need a motion. I'll make that motion. A motion has been made. Is there a second? No second. Second in discussion. Hearing all those in favor, say aye. aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is the Harbor Master. It's currently held by Eric. I never get the last the pronunciation of his last name. Volklin. Volklin? Thank you. Um, to reappoint our harbor master. Um, is there a motion? Motion made. Is there a second? Second. Made by Ms. Pedersen, second by Mr. Wilson. Discussion? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carried. The Next would be the Harbor Commission. We have two uh, reappointments. It would be James Johnson and William Oscar Rao. They would be appointed for a two-year term ending in 2022. Made by Mr. Ross. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Charbonneau. Discussion? Everyone else in favor say aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Motion carries. We have DRB lore. I can't seem to find my. I'm the same now as the You mean the DRB? Yeah, sorry. I left the static paper. My mistake. Okay. Yeah, I left that. Okay. Would be to recommend Daniel Pickering and Matt. Open to be reappointed to the DRB for three more years. And I would entertain a motion. Motion made is a second. Second. Um, all, any discussion? Then all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Aye. Ayes have it. Motion carried.
Next would be delinquent tax collector. It's currently held by Laura Dogan. We need a motion. Made by Mr. Ross is our second. Seconded by Mr. Sharma. No discussion. All right, now those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is the animal control officer. And that really is the Newport Police Department that we usually assign it to. But I think we probably should just make a motion to make it formal. <coughs> Motion made is our second. Seconded by Mr. Patterson, seconded by Mr. Wilson. Any discussion? Hearing none, those in favor say aye. Opposed? I have it. Motion carries. Next is the health office. That is um, currently held by the fire chief. He's smiling over there, and so we need a motion to appoint the fire chief, John Hallerart, as a health officer. Motion made by Mr. Wilson. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Ross. Discussion? Then all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is the tree room, and that's currently held by Robert Gosselin. We need a motion. Motion made. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Pettison. Seconded by Mr. Wilson. Discussion? And then all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is representative to the NBDA board. It's currently held by myself and the city manager. Do we need a motion if you so choose? I'll make that motion. Motion made by Mr. Charbonneau. Is there a second? Second. Made by Mr. Charbonneau. Second by Mr. Wilson. Discussion? And all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is a representative to the NBEDD board, and that is currently held by myself, the mayor. And I will entertain a motion. Motion made. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Ross, seconded by Mr. Charbonneau. Discussion? Yes. What is that board? Northern Vermont Economic Development District. It used to be referred to as the EDC board, but they changed their name a few years ago. Thank you. It's just a, it just covers, it's the board that covers all of the north of Vermont, Franklin County, Grand Isle, right through. Okay, a motion's been made and seconded. Discussion? Then all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. Next is the weigher of coal. This is because we have it in the charter still. We mentioned what we done last year. Oh, where is the weigher of coal? Conley, Moore, the T's. Who's in the room that you could pick? Why pick the same person? Are they here to defend themselves? What? She's doing a good job. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of pressure to offer. <laughs> all right, so motion made by Mr. Ross, second by Mr. Wilson. Any discussion? And all those in favor say aye. Aye, aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. And the last, uh, we have the inspector of wood. It's held by Jacques Woodridge. Okay. We have a motion by Mr. Ross. Is there a second? Second in discussion. All those in favor say aye. Opposed? Uh, Ayes have it. Motion carries. And then we have the building safety officer. And that's currently held by Charles Elliott. The building safety officer. And it's held by Charlie. His own administrator. So we need a motion. Motion made by Mr. Ross. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Wilson. Discussion? And all those in favor say aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. We don't need the state. We don't need those, supposedly. There's some things. I think we might be able to make a lot of food. I don't think we actually have to keep them, but there's a question on that. Okay, the next item. Number seven, here we'll see. Is the, we have to accept the Planning Commission resignation, which was presented um, 
and that would be for Ruth Scrab, and we have to formally accept it. Motion made. Is there a second. Seconded. Any members of the Senate? Senator Mr. Schabener. Discussion. Hearing none. Those in favor say aye. Members, ayes have it. Motion carries. And now we need an executive session to interview Planning Commission members. Um, that's uh, UN BSA 313A3. We need an executive session to interview. Um, Yeah, we could. Yeah. Okay, we can do the one over first and we'll take on. Does the council have any new business? Mr. Johnson? Yeah. Any new business?
There you, there you go. Oh, I see the red light. Yeah, it's, there it is. Okay, so at this point, we, the council needs to make a motion to appoint Mario O'Hanker to the planning commission. And this would be for... This is called Mario. Mario. So that's until the next... No, that's the book. It should be Yeah, hold on. It would be until these are three years, right? It would be until yeah. 2023. Because Bob is not going to be our yet. So we need a motion to appoint Mario Oldacre uh, to the Planning Commission for, for, uh, for a three year term. 
The motion made by Melissa Patterson is there a second? Second by John Wilson. Discussion? And all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carries. And now we need a motion to adjourn at 944 p.m. Oh motion made by Mr. Charbonneau. Is there a second? Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned.